Hey guys, Brett Mess here. I am back with another unboxing. And, uh, yeah. So, um, anyway, I bought this and I actually pre ordered this from Great Eastern Entertainment. Which I'm surprised it got delivered today. Yes, you know how I am by my rubber bands. Because I love some rubber bands, son. And, um,. Yes, uh, I haven't done an anime unboxing since, like, four months ago. I think it was the to Todoroki one I unboxed. <laughs> Around, like, Labor Day, which I don't know why they deliver it on Labor Day, but that's why they want to, like, get home to their families and all that on Labor Day, because it was a Monday. I mean, yeah, but, uh, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and see who it is. Okay, yes! Ah, oh, yes, here she is! I actually pre-ordered this back on, uh, back on the 29th of November. And it's actually a spy, a spy family character, or spy X family. Uh, I think it's this year. Oh! Ow! Wow, this is pretty cute. She got, like, the... I can fix her jacket. So here's the little tag. There's, I think there's Lloyd. It kind of reminds me of Leon Scott Candy from Resident Evil. Year and Anna, or Anna, how you pronounce her name. I really don't pay attention to the girl with the pink hair, but she does make some funny faces, actually. It's pretty funny. So, yeah, wow, pretty neat for our little anime plushie. Uh... I mean, I heard good things about this show. Some people, for some real reason, does not like it. But, uh, yeah, I think this will be good for my anime collection. Let me just take the tag off. Oh, wait a minute. Right there, year. Just got to do this. Okay, speaking of on why I have my tags in here, because, uh, Cause my mom actually just found this out last week that there was tags in here. If the thing could get in there. So yeah, here's the tag. Lloyd, Anna, or Anna, and your. And put it like right here. And here's the little plushie. Looks exactly like the character for the show. Uh, but again, I did pre-order this back in November, which was like a few months back, before, uh, the new year. So, yeah, pretty decent for, for an anime character as a plushie. But, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, stay tuned for this big unboxing I'm about to do. And it's big! Hey, guys, our car. Okay, guys, so the last unboxing that y'all have been expecting is this one. Uh, yes, so it's pretty big. I spent like $31.49. And they actually had it on Bay Bad Toy Store, but I didn't feel like buying it on Bay Bad Toy Store because I didn't want to spend like 30 something dollars on a plushie. And, you know, or a pillow. And, uh, yeah, uh, Another Ruby related, like Ruby, cause uh, cause y'all know I am trying to get caught up with Ruby Volume Nine and the Ruby Crossover Justice League movie that's coming out on Blu-ray and DVD some point by March or whenever it'll be released. But anywho, I mean, anyways, not anywho, cause there's like no one around me at all, cause it's just by myself. Just a figure of speech or just a suggestion. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get this opened up. And I don't believe people unbox this on on here. I think another bag. Wow. Oh, never mind then. Oh, 
check this out, y'all. It says, it's actually a Yang Xiaolong pillow plush. What's really weird, I do not see no tags on this, but... Let's get this out, can we? Oh, wow. Oh my god, it feels so soft. Oh my goodness, this is so freaking soft, man. Oh my god, it's so cute and soft. Who does not want this in their collection? Let me just get rid of this. Put these in my pocket so I don't have to call my... So my mom doesn't get mad at me. Oh my god, it's so freaking soft. It's so, it's so soft. I mean, I am going to get another one of these at some point. Uh, I don't know when, but I will let you guys know. But, um, yeah, it's from a company called Good Smile Connect. But, anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Oh, <laughs>